Heap deletion is a key operation in heap data structures, commonly used to remove the top element. It's essential in applications like heap sort and priority queues. In this session, we'll use a min heap as an example to break down the deletion algorithm step by step. The goal of heap deletion is to remove the top element while preserving the heap structure and properties. Specifically, in a min heap, the value of a parent node must always be less than or equal to its child nodes. When the top element is removed, adjustments are made to restore these properties. The algorithm has two main steps. First, the top element is removed and replaced with the last element in the heap, which temporarily breaks the heap structure. Second, the syncing process adjusts the heap. For a min heap, the new top element is compared with its child nodes, and the smaller child is identified. If the top element is larger than the smaller child, they are swapped. This process continues until the top element is smaller than or equal to the smaller child, or it becomes a leaf node. Let's look at an example. Imagine we have a min heap represented as 1, 2, 3, 17, 19, 36, 7, 25, 100. We want to remove the top element, 1. First, we replace 1 with the last element, 100. Now, the syncing process begins. Compare 100 with its two children, 2 and 3. Since 2 is smaller, we swap 100 and 2. Next, 100 sinks further and is compared with its new children, 17 and 19. Since 17 is smaller, we swap them. Finally, 100 is compared with its last child, 25, and since 25 is smaller, we swap again. At this point, 100 reaches a leaf node and the heap structure is fully restored. In Java, a minheap is often implemented using an array list. The remove method handles the removal of the top element while maintaining the heap's properties. First, it saves the top element, then replaces it with the last element of the heap. Next comes the syncing operation, which adjusts the heap. This process identifies the smaller of the two child nodes, compares it with the current node, and swaps them if necessary. This continues until the heap's properties are restored or the node becomes a leaf. Finally, the method returns the remove top element, completing the deletion process. The remove method uses several helper functions to perform the operation. The time complexity of heap deletion is O log N, because, in the worst case, the element needs to sync from the top to a leaf node, and the height of the heap is approximately log N. This makes heap deletion efficient for large datasets.